one to two. He said, he was where? You enter inside what? Inside the belly. And he was praying. So there is nowhere we can say, not to talk of today being prayer and shall we say, God, help us that today we will make a great day that all those that will be coming for today's prayers, that it will be really indeed a reign of prayer for them. And Christ will actually come down. Even visiting us at the very point of our knees. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And we are, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. The most high God will bless your name. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. That today you will be visiting us. That today you will make way where there is no way for us. That today as many that are coming for this program, you will meet them at the very point of their knees in the name of Jesus. And as the many people that are coming, they will their lives will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most gracious Father. We are committing the ministers into your hand that you, they will not speak, will not tell us, preaching enticing words of their own, rather with that which is coming from your throne of grace. What you want to give to your people is what will come out of their mouth in the name of Jesus. And you will use them, Almighty Father, to be able to touch our lives, that we will bring solution to our lives, that our lives will not remain the same. And as many you have prepared for this program, you will deliver them from whatever may be the obstacle or whatever may be the hindrances or whatever may be what the place that he has surrounded them. You will give them solution today in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit of the living God, you will rule and reign here. You will take preeminence. 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 We will see you and you alone in the name of Jesus. We come against all the workings of the kingdom of darkness, principalities and powers. This place is not your dwelling place. You are far away from this place. We are sending you that you will never come near this environment till we finish what you are doing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most gracious Father. Blessed be your name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's begin to worship the name of the Most High. Let's say, Father, we glorify you. Okay. Let's say, Father, we worship your holy name. You alone are worthy of all our praise. We say thank you, Jesus, for being God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Most High. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the glory. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. We say thank you, Jesus. So thank you, Lord. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. 
There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are there. From beginning to the From beginning to the end. There's no place. There's no place for a human. You are God all by yourself. Can be yours, the Lord of heaven and the earth, God be your CEO, God be your CEO, God be your CEO, See what the Lord has done for us. He has taken away our sorrows and now we're free. I got my parallelia pro. I got my parallelia paraho. Because of Jesus, every day now shock around we they do. Double no double no heavenly blessing. Now you got to receive. God, your grace and mercy is always there for us. Aye, aye, God has given us victory. Aye, aye, God has given us victory. Aye, aye, God has given us victory. Let's sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ba, ba, 
Continuing this morning service, as we sing um, the first hymn for this morning, all hail the power of Jesus' name. 
I think it's going to be in our um, name now. Okay, it's going to be prayed. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Thank you.
altar of the Lord, that the Lord God who answers prayer will indeed meet you at every point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. As we all know, we ask guest ministers that the Lord has specially prepared for this program of today. The Lord Jesus Christ says, the word that I speak, that they are alive, they are spirit. Those who will speak the word of the Lord from the, uh, from the pulpit today, and the word will bring life into every deadness that is represented in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have the honor this morning of introducing our first uh, the, uh, the, uh, the guest minister, the first one to minister, our very own. Yes, our very own. Our very own. The sad goal in charge of mission. New Testament Assembly worldwide. Our very own Pastor Kune Samuel. You are welcome, sir. Hallelujah. The Lord will honor you all the time in Jesus' name. It's wonderful. Please take your seat, sir. Take your seat, ma'am. It's wonderful being in this great house again this morning. I love that introduction from my, from my sister, my pastor. She said, our very own. Yes, I belong here. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, thank you, choir. Wonderful one. I like the Lord has given me an inspiration from that hymn that we just sang. God bless you in Jesus' name. We are crowning him Lord of all. Not the crown of thorn that was placed on his head, but the crown of honor. A majestic crown. So we are crowning him this morning as Lord over every situation of our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So on that note, we are going to sing this song. Akpata Israeli Eshe One of the strategies in prayer is, and we are coming there, prayer and praise. They go together in giving victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akpata Israel. Tu peux confier, mi pour rien. Tu as dit, tu as l'or. 
somebody to open if you have a Bible there with you. This is the hour of prayer and I want us to pray. We are here to pray. We are here to pray. Praise the Lord. I want us to please, if you have a copy of the Bible there, I want you to open to the book of Judges chapter 4. Judges chapter 4. There was a king named Jabin. Jabin was the king of Canaan, Canaan land. He was the king of Je He has a commander in chief of his armed forces, Sisera. They were the ones disturbing the children of Israel, making life difficult for them. They made life unbearable for them. But at the end of the day, the Lord intervened and delivered the children of Israel. The Lord will deliver you and I today. Whoever that, has, that might have been tormenting us, troubling our lives, troubling us from one end to the another, today is the end of their trouble in your life. Today ends their trouble in, their, in, your, in your life. In the name of Jesus. Please, can you read chapter 4, verse 23 and 24? That's where the prayer point is. I can't hear you. That day. Yes. Jabin, the king of Canaan, before the children of Israel. Wait. God subdued on that day, on this very day, every enemy of your progress, the Lord will subdue them before you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your amen doesn't sound like somebody that believes. It doesn't sound like somebody that believes in what we are doing. I said, 
as the Lord subdue Jabin the king of Canaan, the Lord Almighty God will subdue before you this morning everyone that has been tormenting your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe in it, please let your amen show that you believe. Hallelujah. That is our first prayer point. Everyone that has been tormenting me, everyone that has been troubling my life, the one that said I will not move forward, the one that said until is satisfied, it will not let me go. Ha. Today, Lord, subdue them before me. As you subdue the king of Jab King Jabin of Kenala, Father, subdue them before me this morning. Open your mouth and pray to God. Open your mouth and talk to God. You are in prayer, rain. You are in prayer, rain. It's not a silent prayer time. I declare the prayer point. It should be prayed aloud, not silently. It should be prayed aloud and not silently. It should be prayed alive and not silently. Subdue them before me this morning. Whatsoever you say with your mouth, that is what God will do for you. Subdue them before me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Even though you don't, you may, it's, you see, you may not even know some of these enemies. You may not know them. But the fact is that what you are going through is not ordinary. It didn't just happen like that. Some say, well, let me just take it like that. Oh, God of Bagbakuba. And when she said, "Fa omo Israeli, Lord John yeni ye, to ba je kwa omo Israeli ba ba kubani, wa je wa ma ye, wa wa batin wa je pata pata, ni si answer ni kwa omo Israeli. We won't be able to talk of the story of the people of Israel, but they cried unto God. They cried unto God, and the Lord intervened in their matter. Hallelujah." Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord intervened in their matter. You will cry to God, Lord, every enemy of my soul, tormenting my destiny, be subdued before me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Be subdued before me in the name of Jesus. Be subdued, be subdued, be subdued. Be subdued before me. Only what the worry you are doing me. Bobo Tani Nilara Yemi. Bobo Tati Nio Go Milara. Bobo Tati Nia Ye Milara. O Tatoni Mio Nisere Loru ko Jesus Oluwa ten wori ni waju mi Olorun ten wori ni waju mi Oluwa ten wori ni waju mi So n gbadua So n gbadua Father subdue them Subdue them before me In the name of Jesus Subdue them before me In the name of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 24, what does it say? Children of Israel prospered. Yes. And prevailed against Jabin, the king of Canaan. Yes. Until they had destroyed Jabin, king of Canaan. Until they destroyed him. The Lord made the hand of the people of Israel to prosper. And not only that, and also prevailed against Jabin, the king of Canaan. You will pray, O oh Lord, 
let my hand prosper against my enemies. Let my hand prosper and prevail against my enemies until they die. Until they die. Hallelujah. Amen. Please. Amen. Listen, listen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When it's time, he will just find his way and go. Amen. The Lord raised the hand of the people of Israel to prosper and prevail against their enemies until the enemy died. And that is what will happen to your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my destiny enemy of my progress enemy of my well doing let my hand prosper and prevail against them let my hand prosper and in the name of Jesus oh yeah open your mouth and pray oh Lord let my hand prosper and prevail against enemy of my soul in the name of Jesus. All the enemies of my soul. All the enemies of my destiny. Let my hand prosper against them. Let my hand prevail against them. Until they die. Let my hand prevail. Until they die. Let my hand prevail. Until they die. Let my hand prevail. Hand prevail in the name of Jesus. Jackie or one, me one, Lara, one, Tommy, Titi, Titi, one, if you cook, Titi, tell me, you're a ball, Lara, one, oh, no, Jackie or one, you're one, Lara, one, in the name of Jesus, Jackie or one, me, go, Lara, one, Tommy, Jackie or one, me, go, Lara, one, Tommy, Titi, one, if you cook, Titi, one, if you turn it, baby, Titi, one, if you turn it, baby, oh, no, Jackie or one, you're one, Lara, one, ah, Jackie or one, you're one, Lara, one, let my hand be against them. Let my hand prosper against them. Let my hand prevail against my enemies until they die. Don't back up. I want me to go to call. I want to check your woman. I want to tell me. TTM, you have a ball around. Jack your warm, you know this. I want Tommy. Jack your warm, you say no D. See, I want Tommy. TTM, you have a ball around. Ah, Jack your warm, you say no D. Sarah, I want Tommy. TTM, you have a ball around. No vehicle, but do I hear that? TTM, you have a ball around. Oh, that's your fair fair. O tati o fe o lo waju o tati o fe ka yere o dara oluwa je ki owo mi o wa lara won titi temi yo fi bo lara gbadua Mighty name we pray. Yeah. Psalm 20, verse 6. Psalm 20, verse 6. Oh God, hear me. From 20, verse 6. Now I know that I, the Lord. Now I know that the Lord gives victory to his anointed. Yes? He will hear him from his holy heaven. He will hear him from his holy heaven. With the saving strength of his right hand. And with mighty victories of his right hand. 
with, with the saving strength. Another version says, with the saving strength of his right hand. This is the prayer there. That the Lord will hear me from heaven this day. Lord, you will hear me from heaven this day. In this meeting, in this gathering, Lord, you will hear me from heaven and save me by the strength of your right hand. Save me by the strength of your right hand. You will hear me from heaven today and you will save me by the strength of your right hand. How many people you are sure the Lord has anointed you? You are sure the Lord anointed you? Wave your hand, let me see. You are an anointed one of the Lord. The Bible says the Lord will hear you when you cry. Today, as you cry here this morning, the Lord will hear you. The Lord will hear you. The Lord will hear you. You are sounding as if you are not confident. This is the word of the Lord. You are sounding as if you don't understand. I said the Lord will hear you. Well, if you are, if you are intimidated and you cannot say amen, to me, the Lord will hear me. Because I am anointed. I am the anointed one of the Lord. When I cry unto him, he will hear me. Oh Lord my God, hear me from your heaven this morning and deliver me by the strength of your right hand. Open your mouth and pray. Hear me this morning, oh God. Oh Lord, oh hear me this morning and deliver me by the strength of your right hand in the name of Jesus. Oluwa gbo wo mi Olorun gbo wo mi gba mi pelu owo agbara otun re Oluwa gba mi pelu owo agbara otun re lowo awon afiya je ni lowo awon apon ni loju lowo awon ti o je nro na lo awon ti damu aye mi awon ti nforo mi Jesu Oluwa oro re wi pe iwo yo gba awon ayan fe awon ti a ti yan o gbo igbe won lati oruwa Oh, si gba won, kwe luwa won tu agbara. Oh, luwa kwe luwa won tu agbara re. Gba mi la ro yi. Oh, luwa gba mi. Ah, eni to le gba ni la an tomo. Oh, la an sadi, oh, la an tolo. Gba dwa, oh, ti tolo ru walo ni la ti gba ho. Oh, wako si yolo won. La ti la inu re. Ko kekwe yolo ro. Oh, luwa gba mi o. Oh, la ru gba mi. La ro yi gba mi. I woni mo to wa. Oh, luwa gba mi. You want him to walk back, Pade? Oh Lord, you got me. La ni oko eni yawa yi. Oh Lord, you got me. Bad dua. Toba mo ekwe Oh Lord, you loni agbara lati ba. Oh bad dua ye. Oh kelo unara. Oh Lord, you got me. Oh got me. Got me lo wa fi ya jani. Got me lo wa koni lo ju. Got me lo wa. Ah, I want to see a year me she ba she bo. Oh Lord, you got me lo wa wa. Deliver me from your hand, O oh God. Deliver me by the strength of your right hand. Lord, deliver me by the strength of your right hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, 
aye mi nbe lowo re o nowo agbara ki o po ta lenu mo nowo agbara ki o ba se isunu nowo agbara ki o fi mi yogo faraye aye mi nbe lowo re o baba ki no ti wi o aye mi nbe lowo re o baba e lanu e kori aye mi nbe lowo re o baba mi pelu o wa gbara otun re by the, by the, the seven strength of your right hand lord deliver me this morning deliver me this morning we are still on that prayer point <laughs> it's not just to pray you have to pray to have a result amen ori adura yen na lasiwa father deliver me today from the hand of the wicked deliver me today by the strength of your saving arm by the saving strength of your right arm lord deliver me in the name of jesus oh yow 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 put your mouth and pray Jesus mighty name we pray amen verse 8 of that psalm 20 the one you wanted to read But they they are brought down and falling yes but we are risen but we are risen hallelujah amen. and stand upright they are brought down and falling that is your enemies they will fall down before you they will fall flat before you and as they are falling flat so you will be rising up and you will stand upright you will cry to god lord i will stand upright and rise above limitations i will stand upright and rise above limitation open your mouth and pray Jesus mighty name we pray 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Esther chapter 7 verse 9, we are not going to read. When you get home, you go and read because I'm, I'm looking at the time. Praise the Lord. The Bible told us that Haman prepared a gallow for Mordecai where he will hang him because Mordecai happened to be a problem in his life. He said, you this guy, you are not the one allowing me to achieve what I intended to achieve. I will make sure I sniff life out of you. And that one said, well, I don't have power of my own. Oh God, he cried unto the Lord as you will cried unto the Lord this morning. Every trap that they have set for you this year, this month, I will not be a victim. My enemies will be a victim of their own trap. The haters of my soul, they will be a victim of their own trap. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of any kind of trap. No trap of anyone will hold me down in the name of Jesus. My enemies will be victims of their own trap. In the name of Jesus. mighty name we pray. In 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1, there is a popular story there. One of the uh, 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 one of the prophets under Elisha. One of the prophets under Elisha. He served him very well, obedient, and, and by the time he died, a lot of death he has acquired. He could not conquer that kind of hard life of poverty. And his life was good. He was there serving God. He was being nice to his master. Obedient. But he had a problem. And he could not conquer that problem. He had a serious problem. Instead of him to have cried out to his master, Oh God, this is what I've been experiencing, you know. Some of us, we, we run away from the one God has chosen to lead us. Who? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He failed to do that until he died. And after he died, Death, a lot of deaths were waiting. We go a dry and we pay. Oh, goody, Baba, me, oh, she. Say, my pay, no one move off of a qua home way, Lord. Oh, good old Jababa, a little very jar home way. She go in your work, party walk. Ah, oh, go, you come out to qua home way, you don't have qua home way, you lot of Tony yet. Oh, goody, Baba, me, oh, you share. Too fair, Pablo, let me lorry. Loru called this, oh, you are jammy, but no worry, Patapata. The battle that my fathers could not conquer, that want to come and settle down upon my head. Lord, deliver me from such battle. Deliver me from such battle. Open your mouth and pray. The 
Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me from such battle. Oh, Guti Baba Mio, she. Ah, oh, Guti Yamio, Rishi. To fe fa bo le mi lori Oluwa gba mi lo ni ja mi gba lowo re ni waju re ni mo wa Oluwa ja mi gba lowo re ni waju re ni mo wa Oluwa ja mi gba lowo re baba gba mi baba gba mi Olorun gba mi Oluwa gba mi ja mi gba 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 baba ja mi gba ogun ti baba mi o rise ogun ti ya mi o rise to tu fe fa bo sori emi o mo oluwa ma gba o oluwa ma se gba olorun ja mi gba jesus Oluwa Olorun mi da ku ma gba o Olorun mi da ku ma gba fu o Eleda mi da ku ma gba o ko ma raye pa kada ra mi da o da ku ma gba o Hallelujah Olorun mi da ku ma gba fu o Eleda mi da ku ma gba o Christ and something will not happen in your life. Take advantage. And that is why you cannot afford to play Jelenke kind of who is looking at you? Who is looking at you? We are here to better our lives. And when you get before the one that can change your situation, you lose yourself. You don't you own up. You open your you are in the presence of your maker, the almighty God who can redeem your glory, who can redeem your destiny and save you from the hand of the wicked. Those that tied you down, that you will not get to your place of destiny. The Lord will deliver you from their hand today. In the name of Jesus. So, you, I want you to pray. Go. pray. But yes, okore, okore, tigbana. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. O ba dua ye. O sofun luwa. Olorun. La aro yo. Sheri o guti wo o bale she. O fi pa mofa o mo eni o. O fi pa mo ni because toba tua koko. Ti wo o bate wa lagbara. O si lagbara tigba dua ni sin. 
Battles of your family, the battles of your father's house, the battles of your mother's house, they will not prevail over you in the name of Jesus. So you have to pray. Battles of my father's house, battles of my mother's house, even there are some battles I am not aware of. Oh Lord, because I am in your presence this morning. Lord, deliver me from them all. Deliver me, deliver me. Conquer them for me today. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Ah. Deliver me today, oh God. Deliver me today, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray please when it is 10 minutes to my time let me, let me have the light on when it's 10 minutes to my time let me have the light on so that I can tidy up everything smartly praise the Lord amen, amen. very quickly you are going to pray the not the uh, 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 uh. the least but not the last for now you will open your mouth and cry to God the Lord here under this roof today in this sanctuary your mighty hand of grace will touch my life open your mouth and talk to God under this roof at this time, your mighty hand of deliverance. Let it touch me now. Let it touch me now. Let it touch me now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I remember. There are some powers. Troubling us. What they do is that they don't allow good things to stay in our hand. When good thing comes, not that you will not get it. You will have it. Not that you, you will see it. Ah, yes. But they don't stay long. Good things don't stay. There are powers that are responsible for it. I, 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 I am the author of God. I am telling you sincerely what the Lord told me concerning this meeting. And Agbarati ko n so wi pe o ni ri rere yen gba wa ri gba sugbon won ni jo duro pe won won atu won wa gbogbo ona to mo lo ma gba lati gbon danu ba mi gba dua la ro yi oluwa bo agbara ti kin je ko unrere o duro lowo awon omo olorun agbara ti kin je ko unrere o duro lowo mi loruko Jesu olubara oluwa fi na run danu oluwa fi na run danu oluwa bolu won oluwa sha won se ba se bo oluwa gba mi lowo won agbara ti kin je ko unrere o duro lowo mi lo ko Jesu oluwa fi na run danu e gba dua gba dua gba dua gba dua adua lowo gba lanuko gba dua I walk by that of a success, but one of a co jere, one of a jere share, one of a co shella, she won't have a co jemu do mudure. Ah, I've got a ticket jacket, your share, and I yet I've got a ticket jacket on red of Pelawani, no co jess, or you are bandanos, a lot of bandanos, or you are bandanos, a lot of bandanos. The power that suffocates good things in one's hand. Power that does not allow good things to, to stay last, to last long in one's hand. Baba, terminate them in my life today. 
terminate them for me, oh God. Those powers, we cannot stop you from doing good. They cannot stop you from doing wonderful things in life. But they are ready to make sure that those wonderful things are, can, are not staying in your life. That they are terminated. Every power that suffocate good things in my life. I command you this morning in the name of Jesus. Be terminated. Agbarati on Jacob on the road, draw a woman, Lord called Jesus, or you have no rudan. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Barakotua, Agbara Sonny Dofo. Whoa, but he won't go, 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 I want, I want, me thank many emptiers, the spirit of emptiers. I want bara sunny dofo. Ah, what toba one new shenya? What buy shenya kanle? Toba one new ilenya? What soy lenya da horo? Agbara sunny dofo. Wo anything wa bara be bambaja. A bit of one yak big baby to colo, tobacco wallet, said it, Sabara yaba one, we let on tobacco lobe, walani, tobacco and con twenty debe, hardly no mafia con mujade, hardly a bara sonny do fo, Ulua, Bubuono, Tabara sonny do fo, Tim by Yemida, Ulua Bamilone, or Lord Jammy by Eba Dua. Not yet, but a sonny do for Tim Banaja. No, who called Jess? Oh, no, I'm done. Make them, make them, make them, make them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen to this. In that second Kings chapter 4, there are a lot of stories there. That can benefit us and a lot of prayers there. There is a woman, the Bible called her Shunammite woman. This woman, the Bible says, was a very rich woman, well to do. The husband, well to do. Wife, well to do. And they were living their life comfortably. They were okay. I do for one young bogo, one lola, one loro, one nigo gue, bogo, colony war, toro. They are okay. Shugo. He challenge you come and wear you. That one go load you to see what that is bad. She go along, along with mom, mom, all around with Lika. She should name it. Luto one year. We only Lisa all around. We only told our long point. The little one, she should name one. Yeah, anywhere. Odo Elisha, me one year. Arab bring you know they smart. Only me, he die me more yato. Hello, me I roll over here by. I'm more load you. Eni eni to ma shanu fun e a mo loju satani a de mo mo a gbe ja le la ni eni to ma run e lowo iwo te pe eni te pe ran lowo ni mo nwa abi ru agbara ke ni mo ni awon eyan t'olorun de fe lo lati ran mi lowo a wa ma koju won se ri a gbodo ja fefe ninu emi a ma dan kan sile to je pe iwo ateni e fo ri gba te ba anfani kini wo fe gba nbe e ko de eni t'olorun a se t'olorun ti fe lo lati se olore and it's all your woman. Could you have a babble boy, Dotty? Tell me, sure, I pay all by Jello Dwe. She went into a dime, Mimo Yato. And the kidney, there's a girl, 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 Woman, you die like shamo. Old soft more quay, only wo, mo wo, mo wo, and I say, O da beni quay, mo, wo, li or long wo, titoni. Say, I like that, okay, they are. She bomb a girl, wo, li or long wo, titoni, lay. O de ba. O soft more quay, dash a lip, and dash a lip, and dash a lip. What she go boom, come on, she go boom. She go at the end of the day, wo, li, yanga, o, wa, more, only woman, you wa, o, tinro, wa, lo, wa, la, ti, joy. But what about more shame? My shame, my death will reach you. That is a payday for you. You are you have been doing good, 
Keep doing your good. No matter what people are saying, no matter the challenges that is coming your way, keep being good. There is a payday. When this woman was doing it, Elijah was watching. But on a payday, Elijah called and said, Madam, come. What is it that you want me to do? I have seen that you are a nice woman. You've done everything. What do you want me to do for you? And the woman said, we are okay. You can see yourself. We don't need anything again. The trouble in our life, don't go and wake it up again. Come back here. By this time next year, you will carry a son in your hand. And that came to pass. She carried a son in her hand. And there the enemy arose. If it are one log on here, a third day, I want Barra Sonny do for one day, one you were a roller bar. Whoa, what bad bra? On to tell us, I've been here. Connie Jay Pere, Connie Jay Pemi, Olonia Sore, I yell the fire more lara. Nick Bato to a cocoa. Whoa, what did they only walk? Oh, Kimmy. Oh, yo, cause no, no, I your own deep budget. The Lord did something that makes my heart glad. They killed that boy, they fired him out, and the boy cried, My head, my head, my head. The boy that was okay, am I boy? I'm my head, I'll be five years old. Remember, I'm shaking me here. As the Lord is revealing it on this altar, it shall never be the lot of anyone that has to do with this church. Anyone connected with this church, your joy will not be corrupted. We not turn to sorrow in the name of Jesus. What fire am I? What fire am I? Am I dasi? My man, you were only law. Oh, be sorry, Betty, in Russia alone. Oh, toy, Lisha. Anyway, and I bear con, I beat him on Logon Go, the Bolua. Ah, Maja, Maja, you fasho ye, Mia. Maja, you brasho ye, Yamo Milara. Maja, you saw him at your midi, Banujalo Gigi. Bob Bountin Fumilayo. Timon Dupele, Tomunu, Minu, Oluwa Maja, you saw the radar at Dama Milova, Elano Badua. Walk Badua, Walk Badua, Adra, no walk down below, eh? Only what you fear, you know, you want to call Mura, I am my dog Fasway, Yemia, I am my dog Fasway, Yemia, Honor, Motin, your Motin, your Motin, your. My young father so cool. If I knew that my dog come to see me, let not sorrow be my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, let not sorrow be my portion. I have been rejoicing. People have been dancing with me. Father, I pray the joy you have given us will not turn to sorrow. In the name of Jesus, I swear ye. I swear, yeah, me. I yell, no fire, mom, Milara. No, look, oh, yes, holy, bala. But, wow, thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Let me quickly just show one or two things here. Before my time will be up, I mean to I can sit down and enjoy the grace of God in the lives of my fathers in the Lord that are seated right here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, when I saw them coming in, I said, Hey, Olu Aoshe, Emino, Emino, Yoko, my jury of fellow, Ununu, Ayewa. Hallelujah. There are lots I want to say here, but time will not permit me. But this little one, let me just chip it in. 
then it will move us into another session of prayers and we'll round it off. Amen. Talking about limitations. Limitations are spiritual barriers. And I will want to explain all these things from experiences. Limitations are spiritual barriers which place restrictions on people. Place restrictions on people place restriction on a city, place restriction on something whatsoever. These are what we call limitations. They are barriers, spiritual barriers. You don't see them with your eyes. You don't know if they are there in your life against you or not. Because you, you still be moving about, you'll be doing normal things that you, a woman being supposed to do. You are doing all those things, but spiritually in the realm of your own spirit there is a limitation there is a pecking point there is there is a boundary that is made against you that you cannot go beyond limitations you cannot go beyond this boundary this is where you are to be this is where you will live and this is where you are confined to is a kind of confinement confinement you cannot go beyond it. You cannot rise above a certain level because there is a barrier. A bar is already placed in the realm of the spirit against that person, against that thing, against that city. Whatsoever it is. So limitation is a very serious matter when it comes to prayer like this. We thank God who has, I know blood and flesh has not revealed it to those who came up with this, with this topic. It's to help you and I who have been subjected to these barriers spiritually unknown to us. If you want to get above it, you have to pray seriously. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, limitations we talk about here is, is something that we need to address in this meeting. My father in the Lord, the general overseer of this church, told a story not too long. It's in one of his travels abroad. Now, he said he saw an eagle bird that was... While he was, the driver was driving him along the street, he saw that evil, that eagle bird, and the bird will make attempt to fly. But each time he attempted to fly, it will come down again. Ah, like it, the thing happened twice, and now that attracted his attention. He now told the driver, "Slow down." He came down from the car. He went there to see what was wrong with that eagle bird that he cannot fly. That is not the nature of an eagle bird. Eagle bird cannot be limited. Because very beautiful. A, a bird that has a lot of features. Great strength. And look at it. A bird like that being confined to an environment. It's not in the nature of an eagle. To do what that eagle was doing is only a bird. Uh, I think a chicken. It's only a chicken that can be confined to that kind of environment. Not an eagle. Not an eagle. You will, can you now see how an eagle was confined to the condition of a chicken? A chicken we just. <laughs> He cannot fly so high. He, 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 and he just move around within his own territory. But that is not the characteristic of an eagle. And he said when he got there and the thing tried again, he now saw that there was a very strong iron chain that was tied to the leg of that eagle. So each time he wants to express himself as the kind of the strength and the glory God has given to an eagle. See, he wants to express it. 
that chain will bring him down. We not allow him to go. We not allow him to express himself. By the grace of the Lord today, every power that is limiting you to express what God has destined for your life, they will fizzle out of you. They will lose power over your life. In the name of Jesus. That is what limitation can do to any life. Despite the great glory of that eagle board, the board was brought down. The board was limited. <laughs> Whatever has been used to deadlock your destiny in the realm of the spirit, the Lord destroyed them today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord destroyed them today. In the name of Jesus. Let me run it off and let's go into prayer with this little facts. They are statements of facts. And I want you to take note of them. Number one, if you cannot pray, and I mean really pray, not all this kind of... Well, the prayer you will pray that your singlet will be soaked, your pants will be soaked. If you cannot pray that kind of prayer, you are still praying a prayer under AC. You are praying a prayer under AC. Wow, then bad do a lot. Wow, too bad I'm not lagun. No, I do a lot. Whoa, Allah won't need your original one. Allah won't need your original one. Need no AC. To 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 be one lagun. Eh, to ba do ju e o je gba do ayen ni isin gba do ayen o ori ofe ni o opo ijonsin won gbe ti ni a lori ofe kan bi abi a lori ofe bi lati ko ra jopo ka pe olorun to se da ye ati orun to se da emi re ati emi temi na pe ko jo kun gba wa tori aye ikala wa aye buburu la wa these are statement of facts, except you are able to pray very well. That is when you will you'll be free. Limitations have power to destroy destiny. No matter how brilliant your destiny may be, no matter how, how, how good, how nice you may be, if there is a limitation against you, it can destroy your destiny. It's a fact number one. Fact number two is that limitations can steal away glory, steal away your shine, and steal away all that God has embedded in you to come and display, to display to the glory of God in this world. If there is a limitation, for that person to express great glory of God upon his or her life will be difficult for that person if there is a limitation. So limitations can steal away glory. It will, it will dull your glory. Steal away your shining. Dull your, no power will dull your glory. The light of your glory will shine. In the name of Jesus, if there is a limitation, it can deny one's joy. If there is limitation, one's joy can be denied. The person will not be able to fulfill destiny, talk less of having joy. Joy will be a thing of the past for such people who are under limitation. Every limitation placed across your life the Lord break them down. Yeah. I said the Lord break them down. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Another one, another fact is that limitation can render glorious life useless. You will not be useless. Yeah. Your destiny will not be useless. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Limitations can render lives, glorious life useless. You can imagine, take a cue from that 
story of the ego with all great qualities that the ego has. The chain that has brought limitation upon the, 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 the ego could not allow him, you know, made him so useless. He now made him the same thing with chicken. Uh, chicken and ego. What about Degbe? At the Limitation, no far. Limitation. The Lord will place you where you belong. The place that the Lord has destined for your destiny, you will. Limitation is a limitation. It's a limitation. So, students, you need to cry to God. I don't know the kind of limitation that is prevailing over them in your family. Over your own life, that limitation is broken down. In the name of Jesus. We have 10 more minutes now to go. 10 more minutes. There is what they call the blessings of the morning. It's different from the blessings of the afternoon. Blessings of the afternoon is different to the blessings of the night. Iri <laughs> Atito so, atita shale, onu ama jo fo mida, ela nu egba dua. The blessings of the morning will not be shifted to my afternoon. The blessings of my afternoon will not be shifted to the night. In the name of Jesus, I will do good at the right time. I will do good at the ordained time for my life, for my destiny. In the name of Jesus, nothing will hold me down. Nothing will hold me down. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Every limitation around my life, I command you in the name of Jesus, begin to collapse. 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 Limitation over my business. Limitation over my children. Limitation over my, my work, over my life. Collapse, collapse, collapse. Limitation over this parish. Collapse. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. You can't be tired. This is, where, this is what we are here to do. This is what we are here to do. Every manner of limitation. Collapse in the name of Jesus. Command them to collapse. Command them to collapse. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There are some people they are evil monitors. They go around. Evil supervisors. They want to make sure that what has been done against you is affected in your life. That you don't escape it. And when you are, to, are about to escape it, they will quickly send signal to their coven that Otifer Bow, Otifer Bow, those ones, those, those evil personality that are watching over your limitations, that you don't come out of it. We want to pray that the Lord will blindfold them today. The Lord will blindfold them today. Everyone that is commissioned to watch over me in my state of limitation, I command the blindness of the Lord upon you. Be blindfolded in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. 
Be blindfolded in the name of Jesus. Oluwa bu foju Oluwa. Bogu a want to want show me ka kiri pe mi oni bo. Ninu a jagata a ye fimisi. Ninu a jagata mo ekani a fimisi. Oluwa bu foju Oluwa. Blindfold them, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There is a ladder I was shown. I, 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 I did not understand. And the Lord told me, the, the one he first of all showed me was a long one. I said, Lada Lelehi. One man guni. Moan pray. Oluwa. Ah. Ibigiga. Wagbe mi debe. Ma debigiga. Ah. But. And again, one man mu ye kron. One man fi kukuru kon hon me. Lada kukuru ni. And the, the, and the spirit was not speaking to me. He says, can you climb this ladder beyond? I said, no. He said, that is limitation in the life of the people limitation in the life of the people. I don't know the kind of ladder that they have dropped into your life to show the extent to which you will go in life. As long as you cannot go beyond that ladder, what ladder here will you be step meta? Could you be step meta? Our takusibe. Kole lomo. Afikotu padasile. Ah! If you are the person in this lato nilo ito wa yi pada au debi ogo au galaye aye o ni re o sile aye o ni re mi sile gbogbo okan tin sha mi loruko Jesu ipele ogo la ti Olorun ti pese fun aye re ati emi owo iri agbara Olorun yo gbe wa debe Oh, Debe, Loru Kodjes! Money, oh, Debe, Loru Kodjes! Oh, God, if I look at Lua, Jes, oh, Lua, Thank you.
church good morning church praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so it's a worker's day right and a lot of people are probably in their house resting but the book of god says since the time of john the baptist the kingdom of god so far at violence and the violent take it by what by force so you have come as a soldier to take that which Oh, leave me 
shout hallelujah. What is that limitation? Those limitations. Do you have any setback? Perhaps you can identify the areas in which you are stagnant. The highly exalted God, the unlimited one, is here to meet with you this morning. Let us shout hallelujah. Once again, I want to acknowledge the presence of our fathers in the Lord. We are highly honored this morning to have our assistant general overseers with us. Yes, we have our daddy in the Lord, the assistant general overseer personnel and admin, Pastor Adekpokwola, you are welcome, sir. And also, we have our daddy in the Lord, assistant general overseer, prayers and doctrine, Pastor Z.A. Adedeji, you are welcome, sir. Yes, ours is a blessed uh, parish. Yesterday, we had the general overseer, and today, we are blessed again. We have the two de assistant general overseer with us. Let us shout hallelujah. Yes, the Lord has prepared his general, and I have the honor to invite our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Adedeji, for the second ministration. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord is in this house. There is no doubt about that. Let's see, let's be seated for a while. I bless the name of the Lord for the opportunity that has been given to me to come and also minister in this great house. And I know that God Almighty will bless each and every one of you beyond your expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet everyone in the house. I also greet our general overseer, the functioner of this uh, ministry. He's a man of God that I respect. He's anointing so much. And I pray that that anointing will never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the parish pastors, Pastor Akinlabi, and other pastors in the house, I salute all of you in the name of Jesus. All our deacon and dignities, I appreciate you all. And I pray that the strength of God will keep you moving until we get to that glorious house in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of us will fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jacob, Jacob got to a place. He never knew that there is God in that place. Until he saw the angels of God, they are moving up and down. It was then he realized that truly there is God in this place. I affirm to you also, in New Testament assembly, there is God in this place. And the Lord is working greatly. There is nothing that can affirm this than our miracle babies that the Lord has provided in this house. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Both Samuel and Samantha. The Lord bless them in the name of Jesus. They will grow old in the name of Jesus. Greater than their parents in the mighty name of Jesus. And I use them as a point of contact to as many people that are looking for the fruit of the womb. That God, either in this house or elsewhere, that God will provide their own in the mighty name of Jesus. No one will die barren. In this house, no one will die barren. In our family, no one will die barren. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for this glorious hour. This is the hour you have given us opportunity to call upon you because you have said in your word, call upon me in the time of trouble. You say, I will answer you. Please, we are here today. Answer your people in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area that they need one assistance or the other. Father, assist them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your glory in their life come out mightily in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Uh, for a few minutes, I want us to appreciate God together. If not for anything, for Samuel and Samantha. Amen. Amen. It's glorious, it's glorious, it's glorious. The waiting is unprecedented. But God did it at last. Let's rise up on our feet. We want to praise God. You know that praise... It's part of prayer too. When you are praising God, sometimes even you might have prayed and prayed and prayed for a particular thing and it's not coming. Continue to praise the Lord and you will see the Jehovah God coming raw to do what? To answer your prayer. Mowajubare Alagbara Lala Mowajubare Alagbara Lala Mowajubare Mowajubare Oh, 
mighty name in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray today because this is prayer rate. And I want to tell you, if you cannot pray, there is no way you will not receive Tabali. Because this word in which we are is a word that you cannot just live freely. For somebody to say, I'm just going on my own. Any Osikafunya, any Osikafumizo, you are just wasting your time. You have to pray. And God will answer our prayer here today in the mighty name of Jesus. Something happened. Oh, I had a story this morning, and I know that it is very obvious for every one of us to continue to pray if we want to live. That is a particular melonia I was told. And uh, he has a very beautiful secretary and a beautiful wife. Uh, why the wife was here alive? I was told that this secretary was going out with the husband of this man, of this woman. And this woman maybe is not sensitive enough to prayer. And the secretary is high in her position. Nothing happened to this woman. All of a sudden, sickness started. What happened? Eventually, the woman died. And immediately the woman died, shortly thereafter, there was a lawful wedding with this millionaire and the secretary. That is why you must be sensitive in every area of your life. If you are not sensitive, something that is significant will destroy the life of that person. Your life will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. What is the millionaire doing every year? You get the page of newspaper. All the newspaper at the anniversary of that woman's death, she will carry everything there. What am I saying? You must be sensitive to prayer. When a man cannot pray, the devil that is going about to destroy will destroy that person. The devil will not destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, the devil will never destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. The topic that was given to me is terminating the spirit of setback and stagnancy. There are some people who are in the same place and they never knew that they are in the same place. Why? Because they believe everything in the country is what is going on to them. And the moment they are able to eat and drink, and send their children to school, they will never know that they are tied down. It is only when you are able to look at your life very carefully, then you ask yourself a question. Is it true that this is where I'm supposed to be? If that is not where you're supposed to be, my brother, my sister, you have to pray. All the spirits of setback, spirit of limitation, the Lord will break them here today in the mighty name of Jesus. The day I realized that I am not in the place that God has ordained me to be, I was just thinking, naturally, I have a house of my own, I have cars and everything. I thought that is the end and that there, no, I have no limitation. Oh, I'm not stagnant. So I thought. And uh, whenever I remember those people that are my senior, and I look at them, I say, ah, these people, Ungo, I am better than them. Not knowing that you have not reached the place that God has set for you. The day I realized was the day my junior cancer came to visit me. And he said, ah, Oga, I think that God will be it because they come at bay. Ah, I realize that so there is a stagnancy. I'm okay for your connection. I say, why? I say, I'm going to show you. Okay, today I'm going to prove me by. 
But when he had left, it dawned on me that there is a stagnancy. I've not gone to a place where God asked me to reach. I want you to bend that. You, you, you bow down your head and you will pray to God Almighty sincerely that every spirit that is limiting me from moving forward from where I am, today I break you sincerely in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit limiting me on the same place. In Jesus' name, we are praying. It is after that that I realized that it was battle of life that actually took me to this ministry. And it was very tough in my life. And I discovered that if I don't move closer to Jesus, these people that kill my mother very early, they are ready to kill me. They don't want to even make me to attain the age of my mother. And I decided I have to. I thank God that God Almighty showed me this ministry. And since then, I know he has been fighting my battle. God will also fight your own battle for you in the mighty name of God. I say God must fight your battle for you in the name of Jesus. This, more, this uh, afternoon, we have to pray. And it is very dangerous for somebody to keep quiet. When prayer is going on, I want to show you something. Uh, Jesus Christ got to a place. He saw a madman. That man, uh, I think, was a madman of Gadara. And uh, when Jesus Christ was rebuking those spirits of madness in him, and they said... Where do we go? He said, send us to this peak. Now the Spirit of God said, and some people are just arguing, that ah, Jesus Christ, that's an economic waste. Why did you allow the pig to go, uh, the, 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 the spirit of mother to go into, and they go and perish in the sea? The Spirit of God now showed to us that that place where Jesus Christ did that miracle, it was an agreed settlement. And everybody, they have their own pig here and there. Other people are praying very seriously. And this man whose pig was taught, he was just only chewing, chewing gum, not praying, not doing anything. And all of a sudden, all their Greek settlement, the spirit did not go to them, oh, to, those, the, the, to that man that was not praying. So when we are praying today, you don't keep your mouth shut so that Ah, uh, before we go into prayer, let us look at the topic of this program, Unlimited God, before we go into the subtopic, which is terminating the spirit of uh, uh, setback and stagnancy. Truly, our God is incomparable, he is unlimited in every area of life. So this morning, before we go into prayer, I want to arouse your interest to let you know that truly this God is unlimited in every situation of life. Can somebody open his Bible for me to Isaiah 55, 8 to 9? A very good reader. I think there is a sister who is reading for us very fast there. Isaiah, I just want to let you know that our God is unlimited. There is no man that can be compared with him. Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. 
Isaiah chapter 55, 10 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, mm -hmm. says the Lord. 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Can you see? That's just one of it. Let somebody also open to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 18 to 20, to see the unlimitedness of our God. You cannot be compared with any professor or any philosopher of the world. 1 Corinthians 1, 18 to 20. The preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. 19. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and we bring to the nothing the understanding of the prudent. 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Praise the Lord. Can you see the limit, uh, unlimitedness of our God? Where is that wise man? Where is that professor? God say, I will use the foolishness of this world to overtake them. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And uh, let's see what happened in what Job said in Job 36 26. Job 36 26. Job 36 26. Behold, God is great, and we know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. Praise the Lord. And finally, let's see what King Solomon said about him. In 1 King 8, 27. 1 King 8, 27. But will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heaven, cannot contain you. How much less this temple I have built. Praise the Lord. You can see that our God is unlimited. You cannot limit it by our knowledge, by our comparison. Professor of this world cannot limit him. I pray in the name of Jesus that the unlimitedness power of the Lord will continue to propel you further in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So let me quickly go into our topic. What is the topic? It said we must understand all the words that in that topic if we must pray a prevailing prayer. Terminating the spirit of setback and stagnancy. If you don't know all the meaning of this word you may not be able to pray a prevailing prayer. So, I look at it. We look at, in book of James 4.3, that is why it said that James 4.3 said that some people ask and they cannot get because they do not know the meaning of their prayer. They are praying and miss. I pray, no one will pray and miss today in the mighty name of Jesus. So he said, terminating the spirit of setback and stagnancy. What is determination? Terminating is a continuous word, a, a, a continuous, a present continuous of the word to terminate. And it's very easy. When you say you are terminating something, it means that that is the end of that thing. That means there is no relationship. Again, between the two of them that are operating, and the best example that we can give is in uh, employment. When somebody employment is terminated, what happens? Can that place go to that place again? It cannot. And when the spirit of setback is terminated in your life, they will never come back in the mighty name of Jesus. They will never come back in the mighty name of Jesus. It also happens in contract. When there is contract between two people, and they say the contract is terminated. That is the end. Nobody can take any advantage from that contract again. And that is the different, and that is the reason. Then we know, let's go to the spirit. We are now, we've treated terminating the spirit 
Then we go to the other two. The spirit, we have two types of spirit. The Holy Spirit, which is very positive. And it is a spirit that every one of us must pray to have. If you don't have that spirit, uh, so that is not the spirit we are terminating here today. The spirit we are terminating is the evil spirit. What is the evil spirit? It's an unseen forces that manifest their expression in a man, in a place, or in a thing. Evil spirits, they are spirit. They cannot be seen. But sometimes they manifest themselves in a person. And that is why you have the witches and the wizards. They express their expression in a thing. They can be in a tree. We were told there is a tree in a particular place. The evil spirit incubated there, and all the certificate of those people that graduated from that town, they are there, kept. Original is there, those people are just going about with their certificate. They are going about with their certificate. They go to this place, no employment. They go to that place, no employment. Why? Because original certificate has been kept by evil spirit, and they are stagnant. You will never be stagnant in the mighty name of Jesus. I said you will never be stagnant in the name of Jesus. Some people, we, we invited some people, uh, a, a minister, we invited a minister to our church to minister. And uh, he came on the spirit. Evil spirit, fall down, die. Evil spirit, fall down, die. And after the program, some people came to me and said, ah, but uh, pastor, spirit do, does not die now. Why this man is saying, fall down and die. Can spirit die? I say, don't be legalistic about what he's saying. You are only trying to be legalistic. All what the man is saying is that this spirit, stop. Don't affect the life of this man again. So if you continue to be legalistic, you may not be able to get anything from it. Oh, God will help us in Jesus' name. So today, whenever we say Holy Spirit, if I say, fall down and die, all what I'm saying is that let it stop in your life. If I say you are consumed, all I'm saying is that let it not operate anymore in your life. If I say I put a stop to you, and it means that uh, it must stop. And uh, be, okay, if you want to know more about Holy Spirit, I want to counsel you in the name of the Lord to attend the college of uh, what do you call it? Prayer. And deliverance. Geo will tell you everything about the spirit. The Geo will explain everything to you. That is the spirit. So we now go into the other one, step back and stagnancy. The two of them, they are one and the other. Even though they have different meaning, but the result is the same thing. The result is to make sure that you don't go far in this world. Stagnancy and setback. Okay, let me quickly see what setback is all about. When a situation is a, is a setback, it means the situation of life has been very good for that person. It's rosy. Everything is going very well. His children are going to the best school. He was doing this, he was doing that. And all of a sudden, something just came. Gah! And that thing stopped. That's a setback. Thank you. And something happened. And you cannot feed the children again. He withdraw them from the school. That is the spirit of setback. And uh, let me give you an example of it. We are going to pray. There is a, a young man that took over. Hmm? One of the generation bands. The man is barely at his 40. He just came. When he came, just uh, look at all those people that have been there 30, 35 years. He said, today, all of you are going. And he issued a check of 25,000 25, and gave to each of them. 25,000 naira. Go and ask that. I will not mention the bank, but go and ask. Gave them. 20, eh? 20, <laughs> 25,000 naira to every one of them. What happened? 
I want to just be a vibrant before. All of a sudden, a man with young man with a very black eye. Why can you not talk? See why close Gigi? All of a sudden, one after the other, they begin to die. That is the spirit of setback. Which means it says you cannot move forward. Then what of a spirit of stagnancy is a spirit that puts you in one place. And uh, if we look at our, at our life very carefully, you discover that this spirit is affecting us. And that is why we are going to pray. I have told you, mine, you know, I told you mine, that I realized that there is a, a, a stagnancy in my life. And I decided to face it squarely by coming to the Lord. That spirit, it will be there and on the same spot. What you achieved last year is what we achieved this year. Look at your life. Since you came to Lagos, is this the right place where you should be? If it is the right place, when we are praying, you can keep quiet. You don't need to pray. But if you know that you're supposed to have moved further than that, you need to pray. Oh. Let me give you another example of that stagnancy so that you can understand it very well. I, we, we, we pass out at the University of Lagos for almost how many years now. A friend of us read history, and uh, he, was, he served at Toyo State in Ibadan. When he went to Ibadan to serve, during the service, the immigration, they called for interview. And he went to the interview, and they interviewed him. He now came back to Lagos several years, about four years after he has uh, finished is uh, NYC, stagnancy, no job, nothing. To the extent that we, that as friends, we just give him token, and sometimes he now went back into printing, you know, printing our card, printing our letterhead, and uh, we are doing that because we thought we are helping him and we should help him. All of a sudden, he was there, but he understood the limitation. He knew that there is stagnancy somewhere, and he took the step. Every prayer house, he would go. If it was this time that he heard of this kind of program, I mean, he would come here. He was praying, and God intervened. God will intervene in your matter today in the mighty name of Jesus. This man said, he never in his life, no, he never in his life, he don't until you can catch it on my matter radio. He said, just that day, I just came back. I said, I said, I can go news. He pressed the Olon Tawai, unlimited God knew, Olon to Lagbara knew. He just, you know, pressed his radio. I said, news. When they were counting the news, about to finish the, the following people that attended interview in immigration service in your state in year two, four years ago come to Secretariat Ibadan and come for further interview. And the moment he pressed the radio, his name was number one that was mentioned. God is unlimited. He went to that place and now, if he has not retired, because it's long I heard from him, if he has not retired, he will go into retirement now. Because that was in 1990 that I was talking about. If he has not been retired on the ground of age, he will be retiring now, very soon. But what am I saying? When there is limitation, it is possible for God to intervene in our matter, as we are going to do today, and he will intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want us to rise up on our feet. We are going to pray. Let our drama please move nearer. We want to also pray. We want to. Praise the Lord. Say it after me. Oluwa. I want to go somewhere. Ask somebody, do you want to, are you, do you want to move further? 
so ni bire bere lowo en do so ni bire oluwa mo ni bire oluwa mo ni bire gba mi lowo ika eniyan to fe da mi duro oluwa mo ni bire You will compose song of victory by yourself. You will compose song of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Beautiful song of song. Miriam, not our people. You will also sing your own song of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I compose my own song. I will, if you want to listen to the song, I will tell you. I compose a song for myself because I know one hand long by. It is Jesus Christ. One more Mary, one look by me. I compose this to a song. Praise the Lord. He will cry unto the Lord. Every spirit of setback and stagnancy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be wasted in my life. Be wasted in my life. Be wasted in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My brother, you understand it? When you prepare 
a fire for vulture that you want to use to cook a vulture. That but it is not that vulture, it's another bird that they will use to cook. In not about that they go. Open your mouth and pray. You, you will pray very well when you hear this. Isaiah 43. Who is there, my dear? Okay. If we start from verse 2. He said, When you pass through the water, I will be with you. And through the river, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be born, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for who? Eh? And Ethiopia as well, and Seba for you. When they want to kill you, it's another person, Roma Foliko, Lord God Jesus. In verse 43, in verse 4, he said, Thou since thou wert precious in my wife, thou art been honorable, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will do what? Every trap that is set for me this year, every gallow that is meant to hang me this year, Father, let the person that said die for me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Let them die for me. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, you are Lord of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Every Jew. In the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty oh, God, Jehovah, Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Almighty oh, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Some people. They are stagnant because they have taken original from them and they give them photocopy. Everywhere, every area of my life where they have exchanged original for photocopy, I take it back now by force in the name of Jesus. I take it by force in the name of Jesus. I take it by force in the name of Jesus. Wherever they have exchanged the original with photocopy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God. Everlasting Father, I take it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God. Wherever they have exchanged it, in the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God, you are Lord of Abraham. Oh, mighty God, you are Lord of Abraham. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. What is stagnancy again? When you are talking of stagnancy, it's not only certificate alone. No, no. If it is time for you to have your fruit of the womb and year in, year out, to continue to count that, that's stagnancy. The Lord will remove you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will remove it today in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is nothing our God cannot do. Amen. I have proved it. There is nothing he cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. I think we can see it from our pastor's story. What God has done. God terminated the spirit of stagnancy for about 25 years. That is wonderful. It's only God that can do it all. If it is human being, mama shall go. Praise the Lord. Roba Jagwa Bala wo kanya for what so ya. Animo sofu ebe he. Where it will happen. But our God will never shall go. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray for God intervention now. 
in every area that I'm experiencing stagnancy, every area that I'm experiencing setback. Father, let there be intervention. Look at that, my friend. The man, let me tell you, if you want to know him, his name is Colamo. If you know anybody that works in immigration, they will tell you. His name is Colamo. We are together. We left university together in 1982. In 85. In 85. That man, it was miraculous intervention. He does not listen to radio for any reason whatsoever. He just came home that day, pressed his radio open, and they mentioned his name. Those people, they don't want anybody to come and do interview. If they don't see you, other people are there. They will substitute. But because God intervened his matter, he opened the radio, and his name was the first to mention. Four years ago, you did interview. Oh, yeah, come now and take your job. You are going to tell God. Miraculous intervention. In every area that I'm experiencing, limitation and stagnancy. Open your mouth and pray. Cry unto the Lord. 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 Every area where I am experiencing stagnation. Where I am experiencing stagnation and step back. Father, let there be miraculous intervention. Oh God of heaven, intervene for me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Anna experienced stagnancy for so many years. Everything they gave to him does not satisfy her. Everything they gave to Anna, I will give you double portion. Say, I don't want your double portion. And he went to the house of God and she was praying like a drunkard that made a man of God to think this woman must be a drunkard. And uh, Eli went to him to ask. I said, why are you in the morning? Are you uh, drunk? Ah. Thank God for the spirit of humility. The man of God will have also block his place because if she can say, this man, you don't even know that this man has no spirit of discernment. If you have the spirit of discernment, you will know that uh, I'm having a problem. That is why I'm praying like this. But did not say so. She did not say so. She said, I am pouring my heart unto the Lord. And God said, your heart desire will be met. And God met a heart desire. God will meet your own heart desire in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are going to pray, Lord. You are the one that answer Anna. And remove stagnancy and step back from my matter. Answer me today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. You are the one that removes stagnancy from the matter of Hannah. In the name of Jesus. Remove stagnancy from in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove stagnancy away from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you are Lord of heaven. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to ask God that intervention must be miraculous. If you have been having delay for a very long time, and when God wants to answer you, and he did it in double, like that of our uh, pastor. That's a miraculous one. And that is what happened to Dona. When Dona, after he had been uh, punished by God, he was uh, swallowed by the fish and was uh, later vomited out by the fish. Eh? That job that he said he would not do, eh? he did it. And God now gave him accelerated spirit. That is what we are going to pray for now accelerated spirit to be able to move away from stagnancy. The Bible says journey of three days. How many days does it take a, a day? Journey of three days. It took uh, Jonah just one day. That is accelerated intervention. So that is what we are going to pay. In my matter of stagnancy, in my matter of setback, answer with acceleration speed. In the name of Jesus. Answer with the spirit of acceleration. Open your mouth and pray to God. 
In the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, you are Lord of heaven and earth. Oh God of heaven and earth. In the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Answer with the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Where's our drummer, please? Come. We also want to and hear this. It's very simple. Just say it after me. And one stretch. We are where we, we, we are done. We will know it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You say it after me. Oluwa Ajama Rami Lowo. Oluwa Jama Debia Rami Lowo. Say so. Oluwa Jama Debia Rami Lowo. I go faster than that too. But because you are learning it. Oluwa Jama Debia Rami Lowo. Oluwa Jama Debia Boro Miro. Oluwa Jama Debia Rami Lowo. Say it after me. Oluwa Jama Debia Rami Lowo. Ah, Olorun aja ma je bi e gboro mi ro Olorun aja ma je bi e gboro mi ro Ah Ibi aye fi mi si yi ko te mi lorun Ibi aye fi mi si mi ko te mi lorun Ah Ipo ti mo wa yi o ko te mi lorun o Ipo ti mo wa yi o ko te mi lorun o Ah Olorun da ma je gboro mi ro Olorun aja ma je bi e gboro mi ro Let me now sing it once then we now sing it together Olorun aja ma je bi e ran mi lowo Alone what the man de biak baro mi ro Alone what the man de biak na mi lo wa Alone what the man de biak baro mi ro Ibi ya ye fi mi si yi ko te mi lo ro Ibo ti mo wa yi yo ko te mi lo ro Alone what the man de biak baro mi ro Oh ya Alone what the man de biak na mi lo wa By fire, by force, all were familiar. Could only go to my way, I do that. What is near the digestion? Oh, do well, have familiar. Oh, no, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let me see the why. We want to see the causative agent of stagnancy and setback. Causative agent. Kenya and what man fa. See any every man do roll do can. Tio can test you. Tio see progress. I told you that the meaning is different. But the end result is the same thing. Setback, stagnancy. Their end result is the same thing. The end result is that you cannot move forward in life. You will move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, every power that says you will not move forward. 
they will be terminated here today in the mighty name of Jesus. Number one, causative agent of setback and stagnancy is sickness. It's what? It's what? You will not be sick in Jesus' name. Let somebody say, I will not be sick in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, I will not be sick in the name of Jesus. Because he will not enjoy his life. Agba dura pe oluwa je ko wo lo kalafia de gbogbo o to wa nba nka ni ko do kalafia o de sickness will never be your portion in Jesus name Amen. I say sickness will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus and uh, in John chapter 5 3 to 5 we had the story of a man that was stagnant for how many years 38 years until Jesus Christ came and rescued him. He had been there stagnant for 38 years. The same thing with the woman with issue of blood. He do not have been for 12 years. You are going to bow down your head where you are now and rebuke spirit of sickness in the name of Jesus. Spirit of sickness, you will, never, you will not be my person. Open your mouth and pray. I die in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, you are Lord of Abraham. Spirit of sickness, you will not be my person. In the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, Almighty God, you are Lord of Abraham. You will not be my person. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sickness always useless people. I remember many years ago, I was living in a particular house. And you see this very beautiful lady. Very beautiful. I don't know whether it is this beautiful they saw in her. And uh, what happened? She, that time is from five. That they normally read is not SS1, SS2. As it is now. It's from five. When this lady was in uh, from three. Going to from four. Something that has never happened to her stroke. Spirit of epilepsy. And Anytime she go here, it be. Oh man, beluna, oh yeah, abo, oh man, belu, kini. Ah, it will never be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Eventually, that lady marry, got money to God marry and have a child. And after that, because that thing continue, one day we just had that the lady died. Sickness will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. It will not tie down. It will not tie you down in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are having some issue in your body now, I want you to lay your hand on it and you command. Touch that place and command that I rebook you in the name of Jesus. That I terminate you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Terminate it. You will not get it anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is it your blood that is not regular? Is it your sugar that is not regular? Tell God he will do it. God will do it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The other one, causative, cause, ekwe. Ekwe. Ekwe, ki dwa mo le o ye. O man dani du lo yukan. O le ma jay ekwe ti wan se fun e fun rara re. O le jay ekwe ta di se fun a wan baba baba. And the thing is now, you know, recording like a decimal point. Recording and recording and recording like a decimal point. A pay. Only your barman so pay. Oh, go on a cinema. A pekin sinida. You know the meaning? Oh, go on a cinema. A pekin sinida. Meaning that you may be a wrong captive. They may capture you wrongly. Only Jacque, oh, Jafu, Nigeria. Eh, Boya, Biavra, Lundafu, Mole, Boya, Akia, and Wakan, Kalia, Karo, Boya, Biavra, Lili, and Jafu, and they capture you. O Guama Cinema. But when it is caused, it will go directly to that person. 
and it will continue to work. It continue to manifest. In the name of Jesus, I stop you now. I terminate you now. Open your mouth and pray. Agbarai, go agbarai kwe. Lord God Jesus, Oya mo terminate ya danrano. Lord God Jesus, you will not work. Everlasting my God, my Lord of heaven. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. We are told of an abino. We captured an abino. One of his ritual. And back to the point. Chanti ma akpa oma kwe ko sagbarama. That's a fool. And it over pa o sofu. Well, this is my year 47. You near in any nobody will reach 50, and that, that has been the case. Nobody will reach 50. One of Pereni from generation to generation, when they are closer to 50, they are gone. Agbara ekwenye, but Jesus tira wakwada. Lowo egwekwe. In Torina Lavi Lake Bekele, let somebody open to Galatian Galatian three thirteen. Galatian three thirteen. Very quickly. Galatian three thirteen. Let's be made a cause for us. For it is written, cost is everyone that hangs on a tree. I want you to rise up on your feet. I just can't do it. And let's do justice to this spirit of course. You don't know whether it is yours. But you are a good thing. If it is not your own, but you are a good thing. You cry unto the Lord. You say, Father Lord. Father Lord. Every cause affecting my generation. Whether I know about it, I don't know about it. I terminate you today. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for Bentley. Jesus Christ has redeemed us. You have to cling on to Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus. Oguama jani mo ekwe kisi nija. No ruko Jesus. Go go ekwe ego. Aye ra ye. That is belly minori. Let it run me where I know I don't know. I stop you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me sit it. Another causative is household battle. Household what? Household battle. Ogun ile, ile baba, ile ya, ile ana. Let's see what Jesus Christ said in Matthew ten thirty six. Matthew 10, 36. A man's foe shall be people of his who? Of his household. And uh, David knew this very well. And he did not joke with that prayer. He knew the people of his household are his problem. Let's see what you, the, what he said in Psalm 55. 9. I want you to read very quickly with my sister. See what uh, David said. Because he knew that he's not moving forward. He's been on the same page at every moment. It's because of household problem. Psalm 55. 9. From nine, begin to destroy read downward. Destroy, O Lord, and confuse the, their. Destroy, O Lord, and confuse their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go down, go down. Ah. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof. Okay. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Eleven, wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit departs not from her streets. Twelve, for it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. 13. But it was you, a man, my equal, my guide, and my close friend. 14. We took sweet counsel together, 
and walked unto the house of God in company. Can you see? Go ahead. 15. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down alive into the grave, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. 16. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. That's all. God will bless you. Can you see what the people said? Nobody has a tiny. About the bro. He won now, Remy, that don't load you, Lua, that don't tell, that don't say, but don't buy many mana. You are going to pray where you are seated now. You are going to say, God, every problem of households or every battle of households, keeping me on the same page at all time in the name of Jesus, collapse now. I command you to collapse now in the name of Jesus. Collapse now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle from my father's house, every battle from my mother's house, every battle from my in laws house, in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, in the name of Jesus. Let them go loud in the name of Jesus. Let them go loud in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And uh, God answer that man. Oh, have you cooked them? Oh, only only one. David if you cooked them. Oh, and what happened to them? Can you tell us? I'm telling you, on my top being in where somebody that came from his boy. That's why I see a dry man. No, we are we are just ah. I be a minute like that. Oh my, let me know. I'm better. Toba so nibe kuku. Toba she egba mi kaka lo. I'm better. Let him go. Into the queen. Emi bado jaye temi because I must move forward in life. If I don't move forward in life, I want to know my family say, yeah, yeah. What do suffer alone? Let us say, cry unto the Lord, Father, every household battle, every household battle from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my in law's house, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I conquer you today. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. In our wa 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 do wanu. In our wa 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 do wanu. Ogun ti mo da 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 ti kuche. In our wa 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 do Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go for the beat. And I got the door and I walk up. What do you want? Oh, go to the Money <laughs> O ju ti bi se lo a fi Jesu omo meri o so lo gba mi lowo ogun mo ni be ba ri be ba bi mi le re ma ri wise be ba bi mi le re ma ri so o to so mi do ni gbagbo o be ba bi mi le re ma ri so awon agba lo po we kan e bi mi eni bo di wi won ni eni ja o ba o oni pera e lo okunrin Opa lo pe Jesu omo meri se bo n lo so mi dogunrin won re gibole mi lori won ranran ko buburu si mi 
of our daddies in the Lord. I want you to shout a wonderful hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So um, right now the the choir will be ministering a song titled Olori Kokoro. And I pray that as we listen that the Lord is going to give us that important keys we need to unlock every doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed as you listen in Jesus name.
Lord. It is obvious that every one of us has started composing his or her own song of victory. Hallelujah. But yet, 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 Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17 that the power of the Lord was present to heal. Can you feel the presence of the Lord in the house? Yes. The Bible says by the reason of the anointing, the yoke will be broken. Yes. We are getting to the, to the grand finale. Yeah, Gio Manso, one ekbe ko si e gun e no chochi, abe. So, ba wwa yoruba manso ekbe e gun la. Wwa do wwa do ngbe nyi ikale. Yes, it is time to bring up the man of God, our assistant general of Asia, Pastor Ade Pukwola. You are welcome, sir. Let's clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. Clap, don't clap for man, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Before we sit down, that song says, Ariwa Yolilewa. God said, I will tell you, shout of joy will stand in your house. If you can say three loud amen. This year, before this year run out, great shout of joy will be your house. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It is happening in the Akilabi's house. Allah, I need to what you are now. what you are now. You know, people are helping them to share their testimony. I want to pray for those that say child seven amen. That this year people will join to share your testimony. Amen. 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 When they were singing, they said the joy, the door to your breakthrough, the door to your joy will be opened. How many people believe that this year? Door to your joy. After this prayer ring, door to your joy. I prophesy into your life, door to your joy that has been locked before now. Be open in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. I look at this. Read after me. My when greatness is increasing, there is no limitation. Genesis 26, verse 13. Genesis 26, verse 13. He said, and he was stronger and great. He moved forward. I'm forward until you become for someone here today. That man, that woman, you was great. I said you was great. We will go forward. You will grow until you have become very great. That means after this program, no more limitation. 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 Mo wa o wa. Belu shoro mi kwaya. Mo wa o wa. Belu shoro mi. Wena jam pa da wale pe. Mi o ba o. Show me. Oh, wow, 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 wow
Mama Jam, Pada, As many that are here today, whatever might be the top of your challenge, the Lord will start from there. Amen. You are not going back home with your challenges. Amen. You are not going back with your problems. Amen. Today marks the end of your challenge. Amen. No more affliction. Amen. No more affliction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, as we go into your word briefly before the prayer, we ask you, Lord, open understanding. Speak to us. And let your name be glorified. Let no man share your glory. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the time God will help me to come back again, this parish will get a timer so that you can time the, the minister very well. Because we are used to timer indicator. So that you know when you, are, when you are moving too fast, when you are moving too slow. Praise the Lord. I've been asked by the grace of God to speak on breaking the yokes that limit us. Breaking the yokes that limit us. Brethren, without doubt, God creates every man to move forward. How do I know? Your eyes are put in front. The way God designed you, you are designed to move forward. Have you ever seen someone do it like this? Have you ever seen someone do it like this for so long? But how do people move? God did not create you with limitation. Your life was created to move forward. That's why the Bible says, let us create my now image. And say, let them have dominion. And God blessed them. And he said, be fruitful. Multiply. You know, that is a progressive statement that God has made. God has created you to move forward. But something happened. The powers of darkness introduced in the journey of man what is called yokes. And every man must overcome his yoke before he can move forward. Praise the Lord. It's an invisible uh, restraint upon the life of a man. It restrains you from moving forward. I pray for who will say amen today. Whatever yoke the devil has placed on you, the Lord break them today. Amen. Breaking the yoke that limits you. If you do not break the yoke of limitation, you can never get forward. So, you must get to the point that you break it in your life. Limitation prevents you to get to your life goal. God has destined you to be president of this nation. But there will always be limitation for such a man. The president of Nigeria said, if I mention my choice for presidency, he said it will finish him. That would be the moment I opened my mouth and said, Pastor Adej is going to be president. They will go and look for what limitation yoke that they will put upon him. That's how we grown up. What will be going to him? That is what yoke does. Yoke is a body. Yoke is a satanic weight that either stop a man, limit a man, delay a man from getting to his destination. There are satanic burdens that stop a man, 
slow a man down, delay a man, limit him from getting to his destination. And most people never achieve their potential because of yoke that Satan has put upon their life. But today, you are breaking free. Amen. Only one person said amen. amen. I said only two people said amen. amen. Because you must move forward. All yoke will receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is a yoke? It's India that is placed upon a man that stops him from achieving his glorious destiny. But most of the time, yokes came from what were used in the farm. They are used to restrain animals. They used to put two animals together to make them to farm. That means they, 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 they tie down someone to work against his will. Everything that is tying you down against your will, the Lord break you free today in the name of Jesus. The Lord break you free today in the name of Jesus. The Lord break you free today in the name of Jesus. You know, once you tie two animals together, there is no way they can move freely. Because they are not trained, except you bring something that will make them to work together. Everything that is tying you down to nothingness, the Lord set you free. I said, the Lord set you free. The Lord set you free. The work of the yoke is to stagnate. Everything that has come to stagnate you, the Lord stop it today in the name of Jesus. That Pastor was saying something the other time. What your does is will stop you from going forward. If you decide to be giving examples, when you look back at your life and you look forward, there are people that are faster than you among your mates, yes or no? But there are people that you're also looking at the back. Have you ever bothered to investigate what happened? What went wrong? Praise the Lord. What went wrong? Some are very fast. Some are very slow. You are in the middle. Do you want to wait for the people at the back? But what do you want to do? Because they are pronounced to your life. What this year? It is for those that accepted it. But I want to tell you I accept it. Honestly, I'm, I'm honest. I accept it. So this year, my greatness will increase. My greatness will increase. That means you are already great. But this year, there will be what? There will be what? There will be what? So today, every yoke that is limiting you, that has taken away your glory, the Lord will restore it. The Lord will restore it. The Lord will restore it. I want to briefly read Isaiah 10, 27. I'm reading it now, then we are going to use it to close. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day. Which day? Ah, only one person got it. Two people got it. It shall come to pass in that day. That his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and that yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Brethren, have you seen three things here? 
Let's quickly look at the three things there. We must understand the reason why those yoke must break. As Christians, we must learn to understand the word of God and use them to pray properly. He said, today, is burden, not your burden. God has not created you with body. God has created you to enjoy life. But those that have seen your glory, they saw it, and they start to bring body. To some, it is sickness. They just slow him down with one sickness or the other. They said, his body, not your body. Stop saying my sickness. It's not yours. He said, his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. He created the body to be on your shoulder. And his yoke, not your yoke, from off your neck. And that yoke shall be destroyed. Because of what? Today, every yoke and body that the devil has placed upon your neck, they are broken totally in the name of Jesus. They are broken totally in the name of Jesus. They are broken totally in the name of Jesus. He said, is not yours. Stop taking what does not belong to you. From today, reject what does not belong to you. That is how you can be a good Christian. When you understand your position in God, what does not belong to you should not be carried. Am I communicating? What is not your problem should not be carried. Yeah. My, my, you know my sickness. Ah! More yeah. More yeah. More call. Let me tell you more call. More call. Say amen three times. You will escape every captivity. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's have a seat. Praise the Lord. You must understand what God has for you. Yoke does not belong to you. Burden is not yours. And number three, the Bible says anointing has the capacity to destroy that yoke. There is solution for every yoke, everybody. And that solution is the anointing of God. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of what? I'm telling you today, by the combination of all the men of God that have come today, the mountain of men, every yoke will be broken today. Every yoke that brings limitation shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. They must go. They must go. They must be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. For any life to enjoy the fullness of joy. Yoke must be broken. Believe me, brethren, there are two words that determine destiny of man. Yes or no. What limitation does is to say no. But what Jesus does is say yes. Every power say no. Every power that has said no to you over the years, no to your prayer, no to your progress, no to your joy, no to your destiny, they are stopped today in the name of Jesus. The Lord pronounced yes to your life in the name of Jesus. Any power that is empowering no, God destroyed them in the name of Jesus. 
any yoke that is said, where is your God? Where is your God? The Lord that is mighty in battle is here today. And he will answer them back in the name of Jesus. When a man has the power of yes, no man can stop him. The Bible says, and God will arise and have mercy on you for the set time to favor. Yea, the set time is? The set time is? Psalm 1, 1, 2, verse 13. Psalm 1, 1, 2, verse 13. Your favor is starting from now. Your favor is starting from now. Psalm 1, 1, 2, verse 13. Are you, are you showing me Then We rise up and say one prayer and sit down again. Who is there? Psalm 1, 1, 2, verse 13. I want to read from the display. What is soon? No, but I can call out the Bible in there. What is it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, am I right? Sorry. I, I got it right. I got it right. I got it wrong. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for this 102, 102, 102, please. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yea, the set time. Today is your set time. You are going to rise up because today is your set time. On your feet. Hey, Father, Lord, my Father, my Father, turn every no in my life to yes in the name of Jesus. Turn every no in my life to yes in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will turn every negativity. Everything I say, no. Every no in my life. I command you to be turned to yes. 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 You went for interview, they say no. Your promoter, they say no. Yes. Turn every no in my life to yes. As I step out on Wednesday, everywhere I go, let me meet with favor. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. Let us quickly look at different things that bring limitation, different yokes that bring limitation. A yoke is a no. Do you agree with me? When anything say no to your life is a yoke. Anything. Anything. You want to travel abroad, you say no. It's a yoke. Don't deceive yourself. There are different things that are yokes. I want to look at it. I know the two ministers that came before me has mentioned some. So I will not, I will not dwell or repeat what they have said. That's why I make sure I come here on time so I have to listen to them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we don't bore ourselves repeating the same thing. But thank God for the Spirit of God. He knows how to navigate you. When you are three people that will minister, the, 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 the challenge is, hey, I hope they will not preach my message to you before I come. Oluwa, Oluwa, Oluwa. Oh, shall I pray against your fellow pastors? Praise the Lord. You just go on the yes part. Ulua, let your spirit minister to your people. And when the spirit of God ministers to you, you don't need to struggle. Hallelujah. You don't need to do what? So, different yokes that brings limitation. Number one is sin. Sin. And the solution to this is repentance. If you are not giving your life to Christ, this is the only opportunity you have before we move forward. The solution to sin, complete repentance, and you turn away totally from that sin. It brings you, it invites you. The Bible in uh, Romans 6, Vanna, says, Can a man be in sin and expect grace to abandon? Verse 2 said, God forbid. When God said no, can, man, can anyone say yes? When he said in verse 2, God forbid, that means no. Is that not it? 
So, Bible says your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So, sin of fornication and adultery, God does not love it. Hates it with every passion. So, if you are involved in it, stop now to avoid more use. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. So, if you are here today, I want God to break up the yoke. You need to repent. You need to. Two. I call it locational yoke. Location. Location that you find yourself can bring you a yoke. Location. Some people find themselves in the wrong church, wrong congregation. Praise the Lord. We have listened to so many of them. There's one that is carrying everybody to Omwe Kitty now. He said they should pay 310000 They are going to heaven quickly. And they were praying, and people are calling their children from abroad. My boy, Leo, I Wrong location. It's, it's there. See, um, channel news carry the channels, not, not in social media. They went to Omukiti. Is it channel or Arise News? Arise, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I want to go get it, right? Praise the Lord. If you are in the wrong location, it's a yoke. Brethren, location is a yoke. When you find yourself in the wrong location, you will naturally be limited until God intervenes in your case. Example is in Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot decided to go to a wrong location. Brethren, how many sheep, how many cows did Lot brought back from that location? How many? He came back nothing. He went full and returned empty. Every power that wanted to go full and return empty, I caught them in the name of Jesus. I caused them in the name of Jesus. Our pastor has mentioned some houses. When you enter there full, you come out empty. Because the house is bedeviled. I know of one of those houses. Even a church went in, they came out without taking their, their pews. It's the house of one of my friend's father. That my friend, is all that the house is empty. He went and started business here. Yeah. One Luna went that even. Even the air conditioner, they didn't they remove it. When the house is bedeviled, it becomes a yoke. Location can be a yoke. I pray for as men that will say amen today. If you have found yourself in your own location, God bring you out by fire in the name of Jesus. Today you are removed by fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord set you free in the name of Jesus. Every wrong location you have found yourself, the Lord bring you out. In the name of Jesus. Believe me honestly, when you are talking of wrong location, marriage can be a wrong location. I pray today for those that in wrong marriage, the Lord will set you free. I know what I'm saying. A very popular musician went into wrong marriage. And all the things they were telling her to come out, she refused until one day said she died. And they now told lie against her that she had throat cancer. Someone that she sang last Sunday, you now say, throat cancer, does it come overnight? The medical book knows it takes time. And you cannot die with cancer within one week. I mean, what's your good or do it here? Everyone that has found themselves in the wrong location of yoke. Father, Lord, let them come out in the name of Jesus. Some locations are caused like Jericho. You remember Jericho? Joshua said in Joshua chapter 6, say, cause anybody that rise up to do what? To build Jericho. And a second case, one man now chop belly food. He called it here. Yeah. Eh? What did he do? He built it. Now he will go, be going to pray. Why must he pray? He has found himself under a curse. Wrong location. God will set us free. <laughs> Number three, habit or addiction. Habit or addiction. I want to pray for everyone that is having addict that is difficult to come out from, especially the youth, that the Lord will set you free. 
the Lord will set you free. As you are saying amen, you are praying. The Lord will set you free. Amen. If I call me this week, he said, Pastor, are you Pastor X, Y, Z? I said, yes. Or this, I said, yes. He said, I need help. I said, how can I help you? He said, the problem is masturbation. He said, it is destroying my life. The young man said, masturbation is killing me. I want to come out. It's an addiction. He started like play, like play. I can no longer control his life. If you are here today, and you can't control that habit, today, because you're under this ministration, the Lord empower you in the name of Jesus. And they are broken in the name of Jesus. They no longer afflict you in the name of Jesus. Addiction can come in various forms. Some people cannot fast because they are addicted to food. Yes or no? Addicted to food. Some are addicted to sex. They are addicted to sex. Addicted to cigarettes. To alcohol. Any opportunity, they will go and drink and drink and they find them in the gutter. There's this story of a man. Maybe true, I don't know. I read it. The wife called him. Oh, he is too much. He will always drink and fall inside gutter. And he will go into stupor. They said one day the wife took him to mortuary. And begged the owner of mortuary, please, this is my husband. He's my husband. He's not dead. But please put him among the dead people. Do what? So he said, if he, if he wake up, he will wake up tomorrow morning. If he wake up, don't allow him to go. Tell him that this is how you dead people do. Beat him very well. <laughs> the man was begging. No, I'm not a dead man. I only know I drank yesterday. Say so you're a dead man. This is how dead people behave. <laughs> he said from that day, <laughs> Satan beat Adisha out of him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, there are things. There are, the kingdom of God survived violence. Only the violence. Check out it by what? There are some addiction that you need to take by force. Praise the Lord. God will deliver everyone under addition in the name of Jesus. Number four, family evil covenants. Jeremiah 35, 7 to 10. I will not read. There is this family of Kibites. They Kibites. They said, our father said we must not build house. We must not drink wine. We must not farm. That means they must beg. Is that not it? He said, since our father Donald told us that in our family you don't build house, as many that are operating under evil cause of family yoke, I break it today in the name of Jesus. He said, our father said we must not build. We must live in tents. And we have obeyed our father, Donald. Since this day, is there anyone here today that you are having a covenant of not doing well in your family? You must, they say you must not build house. They deceive you that the day you start to build house, you die. I break that curse in the name of Jesus. I break that yoke in the name of Jesus. I break that yoke in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are no longer limited in the name of Jesus. Because it's your year of increasing greatness. This year, for those that have not bought land, you buy your land. For those that have bought land, you complete your house. For those that are praying to God to have car, you have your car. It's your year of increasing greatness. For those that are praying for children, you have your children. In the name of Jesus. God has a way. God does not tie any man down. The family of Rechabite said, Ah, our father, Donald, said we must not. Ah, why is your father wicked? Say you must not build a house. Others are building houses. You are living in tents. You must not farm. Others are farming and they are making money. You are waiting for others to come and give you little donation. I don't know if you are under that cause. Under that yoke. Because you are here to be broken. I said they are broken. They are broken. They are broken. They are broken. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. 
So the next one I want us to look at as those yokes that we need to break free from is yoke of tongue. The tongue. You know the Bible says the power of death and life are what? Enu ogwenu 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 the day they are to go forth, their mouth, chu 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 chu, it causes what they call ogumatekbe. Kill mokwe. Yes. Man no timbo obe obje dake. So the day they are to tell you how to get out of your problem, they will keep quiet for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every ogumatek in your life, the Lord destroy them. It is lack of control. I know. I look some people. When I know you have that problem, once you approach, you I'll keep quiet. People, when I know that it can benefit you, so that I don't run into your problem. Praise God. So I don't run into your problem. There's this story of three pastors. They went to pray. And they said, okay, let us see our prayer point. This one said, my own is that I must not see a woman. Pray for me. Another one said, I must not see another man's money. Pray for me. The last one said, I must not hear other people's secrets. I will tell everybody. All of them say, it's you who first of all pray for first. <laughs> because we have opened our secret to you. Ogwenum Bacha. Is there anybody here today that your problem is your mouth? The Lord deliver you. The Lord deliver you. The fifth one, quickly, is ignorance. It can be used by the devil to be a yoke upon, upon any man. Hosea 4, 6. They my people, the poor of God, they are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Look at that woman in uh, 2 Kings chapter 4. So is that a four? The husband died due to ignorance and he left the family in debt. Yes or no? But there is something the woman knows that if I go to this prophet, we shall be set free. Ignorance is a yoke. Brethren, in this nation, people are still moving forward. They know what to do. Ignorance is not knowing what to do at the right time. The Lord will open your eyes. The Lord will open your understanding. You are coming out of every ignorance. Every yoke of ignorance that is limiting you to the same spot. The Lord break you free in the name of Jesus. Ignorance is a, is a killer. That's why the Bible says, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge. What you should do, you know it, but you don't want to do it. It's called ignorance. Some of us knows the business we can do and make more money. But we say, eh, 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 eh. Ah, the Lord deliver you today in the name of Jesus. The Lord deliver you today in the name of Jesus. Now, we want to go to prayer. But the last one before we go is causes. They have mentioned it. I have not delve too much on it. Causes. Causes is a big yoke that might send a man to a bottomless pit. In, in Genesis chapter 49, you remember what happened to Reuben? Eh? It was, a cause was, he said, Reuben, <laughs> excellency of power, you are my first, but you will never excel. Everyone that is operating on that course here today, as the Lord lives, those causes are broken. I said, those causes are broken. Those causes are broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Cause a negative statement pronounced against a man or woman. You remember Jabez? It was the cause that the mother pronounced upon him. But he came to a meeting like this. He came to a meeting like this. And the Lord granted him all his requests. I pray today the Lord that you have come to serve 
will grant you everything you request today in the name of Jesus. Let's close by that Jabez prayer. Then we'll go to different prayers. So that you know that there are some things that can limit you. First Chronicles. Four nine. I don't know if there is any Jabez here today. And if there's any mother here that will have pronounced cause upon your children, today God set them free. You expect them to help you, they are not helping you. And you pronounce cause upon them. You say, I did not do it for my parents. Why are you doing it for me? Or my children? For Maybe you don't know, you don't know there is a cause. That's a cause. When your children found will be to me. I'm not doing it for my children and for my parents. But you are doing this to me. Your children will, ah. You need, to, you need to turn that tongue back. That negative statement, you need to turn it back today. Because when the mother of Benjamin gave back to him, she too gave back in pain as she was departing. He said, it will be called Benonim, son of my sorrow. And if I say, oh no, it will become Benjamin, the prince will be. Praise the Lord. You have the power to change that yoke. Mothers that are here today, fathers that are here today, if any of your children have done anything bad to you, you can change that. You can break that yoke for them yourself. See, eh, eh, me, lo sorry about it, see, ah. You know, it's, it's, it's out of anger. You don't mean it. You don't really mean it, but you pronounce it. If you are here today, I'll give you an opportunity to turn that yoke off from the neck of your children. That yoke is yoke. That burden is burden. It's not their own. You will turn it today, today, today. Maybe you want to close your eyes and start to pronounce blessing upon your children. Pronounce blessing that remove yoke upon your seed. Upon your seed. Blessings that remove yokes. Pronounce it upon your seed. And give you opportunity to turn it around. Pronounce it upon your seed. Upon anybody that you have pronounced upon. They might have wronged you. It is for children to your own parents. You will not owe to Sherry. But you are here, you are because nobody plays the curse upon you. And the Lord answers you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. First Chronicles 4 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, I bear him with sorrow. Let's think, let's pause. The name is Child of Sorrow. Is that not it? When they are doing marriage, how many people will invite Jabez to marriage? If you, I know you know you invite son of sorrow to your marriage. You will not invite him. You could see what he was going through. When they are having gathering partnership to do things together, who invite him as part of your team? You want sorrow to come along with you? Nobody. So now listen to his prayer. And Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, thou will bless me indeed. That means it was lacking blessing. And enlarge my coast. Because nobody wants to have any relationship with him. You know, a prayer of a man determines what he's going through. And that my thy hand might be with me. And that will keep me from evil. That means that name is bringing evil continually to his life. And it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. So today, you are going to make some requests. There is something that God can do for you. He will grant all your requests. I said God will grant your request. And God will grant your request. In the name of Jesus. Let's rise up on our feet. Because power must change down today. I said power must change down today. Power must change down today. Loni o, agbara agbudo yi o wapada. Agbara agbudo yi o wapada.
upon your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Jabez rejected every cause pronounced by his mother. Say, Father Lord, if you don't speak loud, I will not go. Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord I reject every pronouncement upon my life. In the name of Jesus, I reject totally every pronouncement Every cause that be pronounced upon me, upon my life, upon my children, upon my family, upon the works of my hand. Are you rejecting every evil cause, every pronouncement upon my children? I cancel and I reject them. Every evil pronouncement. Yes. Every pronouncement that have been pronounced. Yes. Every negative pronouncement. Operating in my life. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. O Gukata Gudotu for Kalon in Ogumatebe. O Gukiri. I don't know how many of us go to Old Student Association. If you go to Old Student Association, you will see how that, that, that battle operates in the life of people. Some people who are your mates, when you see them, you think they are your father. Am I speaking to you? They are your mates, too. Oh. Recently, they show one man. Say this, I may say no. It was it should be a lecturer during our time. That is what this Oguma Tegbe does. It does not allow you to be equal to your mates. Matekbe, say, Oluwa, Oguma Tegbe, tomba mi fira, fi na jo waloni, fi na re jo waloni. Yes. Every cause that said I will not meet up with my mates. Every cause that said I will not meet up with my mates. 
I will not be equal to our more than my mates. Yes. Youth, pray, pray, pray. Your future is what you are praying for. Every cause that is limiting you, that you will not be up and better than your mates. The Lord will destroy them by fire today. I reject it upon my children. I reject it upon my children. I reject it upon my life. Yes, I reject it. Yes, I reject it. Every battle that I will bear from my mate before I eat, before I feed, I reject it. I reject it today. I reject it today. I reject it today. But don't don't In Jesus' name we pray. Ati to me sile. Moti rogo mi lo. Otagbi yonju o shugbo mo fu. Olu wa deri arare. Ati to me sile. Ati to me sile. Moti rogo mi lo. Moti rogo mi lo. Father, confirm yourself in my life today. Prove yourself, Lord, as a deliverer. Prove yourself as a deliverer for me. Olu a jadi ara e tu misile nu de. Go bu a jaga o ta olu a tu misile. Prove yourself in my family. Prove yourself in my business. Prove yourself in my ministry. Olu a jadi ara re. Nino a ye mi jadi ara re. Prove yourself as a mighty warrior over my love and my family. Mighty warrior over my love and my family. Prove yourself as a mighty warrior. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I have come to you. Every burden of the darkness that is manifesting my family. Prove yourself. Prove yourself over them. Prove yourself over them. Are 
are you telling God to prove himself? From today, anywhere you go, you will feed God. Anywhere you go, favor of God will follow you. Because the Lord must prove himself. Yes. Where they have said no to you. If you go out of your day to be yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. And we all take our Bible. I read that Isaiah. We want to go into what the Bible says. Isaiah 10, 27. This is have some prayer to pray, but I want to quickly do that. The anointing to break every limitation from a lively yoke of limitation so that before you know what's happening, the light might come up. I need to pace myself now. Are we all in Isaiah 10, 27? If you are there, I said, Amen. Amen. We read together. And come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy neck and his yoke from off and the yoke shall be destroyed because of... I want us to rise up and stretch forth our hand to this anointing oil. Does this anointing oil be coming in contact with me? Let every evil yoke in my life be broken to pray. Speak to it before I pray on it. Prove yourself in my life today. So that by the time I get to let it be said I'll be with you. Prove yourself in my family. Prove yourself in my family. I will do it the way the, the Spirit means sound to me to do. Prove yourself in my family. Prove yourself in my life. Everything that sounds like yoke, known or unknown, mentioned or mentioned, yoke of causes break in the name of Jesus. As I come in contact with this oil of anointing, let it be said of me, I'm a new person. Everywhere where I've missed it, Lord, restore me, restore my life. In the name of Jesus. Jerry Arare. Jerry Arare. Jerry Arare. In Jesus' name we pray. And so, Father, in line with your instruction, I'm anointing your children for everybody and yoke to be broken by the anointing. Let your spirit enter this oil. Let it do the work you said it will do. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And let there be testimonies. Let there be testimonies. As many people that said amen, Lord, let there be testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let no man return without testimony. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Listen to me, this is how we are going to do it. You come out, you remove your shoe, you remove your shoe, I'll pour the oil on your right hand, but the oil will also be on the floor, you now step on it. You step on it and you start to decree that every yoke in my life break. You go back to your seat. See, hold the hand. Don't do use it for anything. When I come, I'll come and say the prayer we're going to use. But, sir. Ati tu me sile Moti rogo mi lo Otagbi yandu Jerry, 
Just hold it. When you go back, just hold it. Uh, just check on the oil. Where are you on the floor? Amen. Can I be battle? Oh, 
from every relationship that is causing yoke in the name of Jesus. Open ourselves and separate them. In Jesus' name we pray. Every negative voice speaking against my progress, speaking against my destiny, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and silence every voice speaking against you. You are not there, but they are speaking against you. Yes, from today, I silence you. 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 In the name of Jesus. I cannot hear your voice. Every evil voice. Speaking against my destiny, speaking against my glory, I silence you today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Negative voice. Negative voice. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. We are going to sing this song and we are closing. Come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword, fight my battle for me. Hallelujah. Come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword, come by fire. for me. I cannot fight it alone. Fight my battle for me. I cannot fight it alone. If you can fight alone, you don't need to pray. Fight my battle for me. Fight my battle for me. King of kings, fight my battle for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we have no other power but in you. We have cried unto you during this prayer. And we pray, let there be testimonies. Only one person said amen. Let there be testimonies. Let there be testimonies. Let there be testimonies. Testimony of victory. Testimony of progress. There's one of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
I want your seven amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the church says, Amen. I'm sure you will agree with me that it's been a glorious and wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Yes, this great God, the unlimited God. And we finally come to the second edition of our yearly program, The Prayer Ring. Let us shout hallelujah. Let us shout hallelujah. We want to express our appreciation to our ministers, our fathers in the Lord, who have spared the time out of their schedule to come and bless us in the midst today. Adukwe Kuposa, Eshe Mwa Adukwe, Ekuijide. We appreciate you. Yes, I want to acknowledge the presence of the members of their family in the midst. Because you, could, you can see our daddies on the altar, the members of their family are in the congregation. We have our mommy uh, Adedeji, <laughs> praise the Lord. We have uh, mommy Kule Samuel, you are welcome in our midst. And we have our mommy, mommy Ajibun, you are welcome in the midst, ma. We thank you very much for sparing the time to bear with us. Yes, I want to express the greetings from our parish pastor, Pastor Akinkbe Luakinabi, Baba Ibeji. Mwani kpe kaki, nyi fukpo, e ekwu idide, mwani ekwu idodi mu, adukpe, odami lo dukpe, bobo bi, asheng ba dura ambi bai, a wano mwongwo wani, ebe tu mwongwo alom, Praise the Lord. We want to welcome the special people in our midst, those who are fellowshipping with us for the first time. If today is your first time in this auditorium, we want you to just rise up so that we can greet you the New Testament way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Does it mean that we've been a little bit selfish in not inviting people who are not members of the church? Praise the Lord. We acknowledge our members from the other parish. I can see the kinness. I go to see in our midst. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, we want to remind us of our weekly services, which remain the same. Tuesday, Treasure of Truth, 6 to 8 o'clock. Thursday, the Hour of Power. The same time, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And of course, we must remember our national program, second Friday of every month, we have the Victory Night. Why we do not forget that we have the Transformation Hour every Wednesday at Mission Parish in Ikeja. As we take time to attend all this program, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. I want to announce that at the end of the program, we have a light refreshment. Please let us sit down while we take the light pro uh, provision by the Lord. We want to take the offering now. Offering time. Yes, we have been receiving the blessings of the Lord right from 8 a.m. on today's time. So let us rise up even as we bless the Lord. Out of our abundance, shall we rise up with our offering as we present it before the Lord? Let us pray in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we thank you because you are the one who has given us power to make world. Out of the abundance with which you have blessed us, we have brought our offering. Let it be acceptable in, us, in your sight in the name of Jesus. By this, O oh Lord, we continue to increase in greatness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because all the yokes that are broken, they are forever shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Yes, we will say the grace, but please let us remember to drop our offering before we leave the auditorium. Yes. We say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Please let us remember to drop our offering. Thank you.